So, please complete the first slide. We'll give you a few minutes to do it. So, hit pause when you're ready, hit play, and assess your answers. Here are your answers assessed. Two to the fourth, because there's four twos. Ten to the seventh, because it's ten times ten times ten times ten times ten, seven times. 4.5 to the fifth and one half to the third. Create your own definition of exponential form. Expanded, expanded form is repeated multiplication. The next thing we would like you to do is write the expression in expanded form. Hit pause when you're ready, hit play, and then the answers will come. So we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 6 to the 6 is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. Times six, times six. As you can see, I just want to go over the fractional. Then it's 2 fifths to the third. And it's 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths. Create your own definition of expanded form, repeated multiplication. Write each expression in standard form. Sorry about that. So we have five to the fourth, six to the third, three to the seventh, and one fourth to the third. Hit pause, then hit play to assess your answers. Here are the answers in standard form, and we have five to the fourth is 625, three to the seventh is 2,187, six to the third is 216, one quarter to the third is one over 64. Create your own definition of a standard form. Standard form is the answer as a number. List the form underneath each arrow. The first is exponential form. The next one is expanded form because it's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And the standard form is 625. Now we would like you to substitute the given values of x to complete the table below. And then you have to describe any patterns you see in the table. So this is base one, base two, base three, base four. And then they have x as the exponent. Well, the x's are zero, one, two, three, and four. The first line is one to the zero, two to the zero, three to the zero. Um, if you put it into your calculator, I'll write the first one. You're going to write one. You're going to press the button one, the carrot key, then say it's the exponent of zero, and then hit enter, and you should get an answer. Then when you finish doing that, you're going to use the exponent of one. One to the first, two to the first. Then we have exponent of two, three, and four. So, for your uh, computer, and when you're done, hit play to assess your answers. That will be on the next. So, as you can see, here are the answers. Let me just uh, fix the whole slide for you. And we have to come up with patterns. As you can see, the first row. Well, you have anything to the zero power is equal to the exponent of one. So, for example, x equals one. x to the zero is equal to whole number one. Any base of the exponent of one is equal to itself. Any exponent of base ten is equal to one with the number of exponent zero. For example, ten to the first is equal to one with the one zero. Ten to the third is equal to one with three zero. And then you have to have with an exponent of two is a perfect square, product of a number multiplied by itself, and then the exponent on base one is equal to one. Now we would like you to do this little summary. An exponent is the number of times you're multiplying a base by itself. Two is the base, three is the exponent. So we would like you to complete the chart, hit pause, and then come back and play to assess your answer. 
Um, this goes in and out of uh, something up here on the top to help me with the fractional base and the extension, so I'll proceed it no more to do. The first four are very easy or they're fair. And then we have one half to the third, which means one half times one half times one half. You could put it in the way you see it, which means the postulator one half in parentheses, charity, the exponent is three, hit enter, and you get one over eight. If you get a decimal, make sure you hit the two arrow keys above the enter, and that will change it into a fraction. And also, it's one times one times one times one, two times two times two. Now we would like you to complete this. And then you have to also question, are there any times when a base is negative and your answer to the questions above in this point? I'll give you a uh, pause, two minutes, and then go back to slide to assess your answer. So now we're going to assess. And we're going to see some of the uh, answers of star. So we can go five to the fourth. You know how to expand it, standard form 625. As you can see, I saw the second one, a negative base with an even exponent. And you get negative 216. The way you see it is the way you put it into the calculator. So I have parentheses for parentheses. Negative three in parentheses is the base, and it's raised to four of the fourth power and you get positive 81. Then you get negative 3 to the fourth. Its base is really 3. It's an invisible negative 1 because there's no parentheses. So you could break it up either way. Negative 3, because you did 1 times negative 3, and then it's times 3 times 3 times 3. Or you write negative 1 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and you get negative 81. The second one is the same rule. The base is 2, it's positive, but the negative 1, because it's not the base, it's the same as the negative 1. So you get negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or you multiply the negative 1, and you can get negative 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And you get negative 32. Next one in expanded form, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, and you get negative 32. As you can see, I start number 2, 3, and 6 to come up with pattern or a move. The negative base, and we are going to move. You have a negative base, I'm sorry, this small part is not cooperating. Negative base, even exponent, equals positive number. Negative base, odd exponent, Negative. Now we're gonna we want you to try this out. This next slide. I will give you um this is on and then hit it right away you'll get it. And here we go. Assess yourself. This follows the rule. We have a negative base, even exponent, we get a positive number. This is different. This is a visible negative one. So I go to two ways, negative one times nine times nine times nine times nine. Or well, negative nine times nine times nine times nine is a negative thousand five hundred and sixty one. And then the next one holds the same rule. I have a negative x, a negative base and an even exponent, and you should get a positive one hundred and seventeen thousand six hundred and forty-nine. And this is the one where there's an invisible word. The first one is negative 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Or negative 1 times 7 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 times 7. And you get a negative 117,649. So we would like you to try this next with these fractional bases. Everybody see that? Hit pause, just hit play when you're ready. Right. So here we go. Assess yourself, expand the notation. It's a fractional base. So it's one third times one third times one third times one third, or one over eight one. The next one is three fourths times three fourths times three fourths times three fourths, 81 over 256. 
And then expanded notation for a negative base. It's negative one fifth times negative one fifth times negative one fifth. It's a negative base or exponent to get a negative number. This one is a negative base to an exponent. I know it's going to be a positive number. It's negative two sevenths times negative two sevenths. We get four four six. What does a negative exponent mean? Sometimes expressions have negative exponents. A to the negative 2, the base is 8. You put it over 1. You do its reciprocal, which becomes 1 over 8, and makes the exponent positive. So, and a negative exponent means fraction. So again, put it over 1. So now it's 8 over 1, its reciprocal is 1 8. The negative 2 becomes positive 2, and then it's negative. I'm sorry, it's 1 8 times 1 8 equals 164. So now you have to try it. And now we'll go over. We're just going to get to try this. Here we go. 5 to the negative 2. Put it over 1, do the reciprocal, 1 6, and then you turn it exponent positive, and you get 1 over 25. 6 to the negative 3 gives you 1 over 6 to the third. Put it over 1, reciprocal, and turn exponent positive, and we get 1 over 2, 16. Now, this one is 1 8 to the negative 2. Let I me mean, um, show you. I got it off. It's 1 8. You do its reciprocal, 8 over 1, and turn the exponent positive, and it becomes 8 squared, which is equal to 64. Now, we'll tell you to uh, pause, and we want So pause and you play it when you're ready to assess yourself. So here are the answers. Assess yourself. And you get one fourth squared is one sixteenth. Nine to the one reciprocal, one ninth to the third, seven twenty-nine. Again, we have to see you have to do the reciprocal work backwards. You get five, turn the exponent to the next. And then we get 625. Sorry, it should be one over 625. And then the next one is a to the negative two, one over a squared, one over 64. Here the base is negative. In parentheses, you put it over one, it becomes one over negative three. And then you turn the exponent to a positive. And you get negative 127. And I'm hoping that you did the same signature. Anything to the 0 power equals 1. So 2 to the 0 equals 1. X to the 0 equals 1. So basically, the summary is step by step. If you see a negative exponent, they believe it isn't there. And calculate the answer as if, as if it was a positive exponent. After calculating your answer, find the reciprocal, and that's your final answer. Right now, I'm just telling you, put this over 1. Do it reciprocal, which would be 1 third. And make the exponent positive, and then it would be 1 three squared is 9. Or the trick is, just take this, pretend the exponent is not negative. So if you get 9, you put it over 1, and then it will be reciprocal. So the next one should be 1 over 1,728, 1 over 100, and 1 over x to the 4. Again, do it reciprocal, and turn the exponent to positive. Okay, so now we want to assess expanded and standard notation of each. Right now, the expanded notation started. We pause in this way to come back to the center. Okay, so we yeah, have two thirds. Hold on, I just have to put on the pen. There we go. So two thirds times two thirds times two thirds times two-thirds, and you get 
16 ohm and AD1. Now, this following the rule, I have a negative exponent. You will see typical is the fractional base. So it becomes 5 over 1, which equals 5, and make your exponent positive. So now it's 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 1.5. The next one is write this fraction in the following exponent. The base is 3 fourths. Do reciprocal. 4 over 3 and carry the exponent constant. So now it's standard form is 4 over 3 times 4 over 3, and you get 16 numbers. So we don't have perfect regular to class today, so we're going to do this. This expression is not equivalent to 5 to the negative 3. So 3 fourths, completed. So my first step is you have to figure out what is 5 to the negative 3. It's going to go to 1, to the reciprocal, which gives you 1 fifth, carrying the exponent congruent, and 8 to the third power, or 1 fifth to the third. Well, that's what our first answer is. They're asking for not. So this also equals 1 over 1. B is also not the answer because it is 1.25. This one, 5 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1 over 1.25. So that's also the correct answer, but it's not the correct answer for this question. But B is incorrect because it is not equal to the whole number of 1. So negative x is So B is the So these are a few rules to remember for negative exponents. You should study them. And then I would like to using, write this using a positive exponent, 4 to the negative 5, and using a positive exponent, minus 6 to the 6 seconds to the negative 3. So we have to follow the rule. Keep it over 1. Do it reciprocal. It's 4. I'm sorry, it's 1 4. And the exponent becomes positive. So now if you have a hard time doing it's easier to do this, uh, you have to expand the first. So it's 1 over 4 times 1 over 4, 1 over 4, 1 over 4, or 1 fourth. You have 5 of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then if you're still in trouble, just put it to the bottom of it and figure out what the answer is. And I got 1 over 1024. Now you could have put it in as 1 over 4 to the fifth, and you could have sat there and made 1 4 times 4, 4 times 4 times 4. The next one, you're going to apply the next one to the negative to the typical. And turn the exponent up. So now it's 7 over 6, or 7 6, and 7 6. And you should get 343 over 2 times minus 18. So here are the three takeaways we get from the lesson. A negative base, even exponent is a positive number. Negative base on exponent is a negative number. Any negative exponent takes the reciprocal of the base and makes the exponent positive. Again, negative base, even exponent is a positive number. Negative base on exponent is a negative number. Any negative exponent takes the reciprocal of the base and makes the exponent positive. This is the end of the lesson.